Hello friends, this is your friend Justin, today, I am going to show you, how human heart works, and I will also explain, how it beats and generate electrical signals, also, I will let you know the different parts of human heart, so let's start. The rhythmic beat of your muscular heart, keeps blood flowing through the body, bringing nutrients, and oxygen to every cell. Get to know the inner workings of your heart with this interactive video. Friends, before I start, I would like to request you, please subscribe to my channel, Al Clever. In Al Clever, I provide information about interview process, news, science, fun, movies, tips and tricks, and many other topics also. So friends let's explore the human heart. The heart circulates nearly 2 gallons approximately 5 liters, of blood through the body. The system begins in the lungs, where blood picks up oxygen, the heart takes oxygen-rich blood from the lungs, and pumps it out to all parts of the body. Then after, the oxygenated blood returns, after the body cells, takes the oxygen from the blood, the depleted blood returns to the heart, and is sent to the lungs, to get more oxygen. Put the heart through his paces. Friends, let's understand the pumping action of heart. The average human heart, beats about a hundred thousand times a day, the heart rate, measured in beats per minute. Which is called BPM, varies depending on a person's level of stress, or physical activity. Let's see how exercise affects the heart rate. When a person in a rest, you can see the heart beating rate is normal, and BPM rate is up to 72. Now when the person start walking heart beating rate, increased up to 95 BPM. After that, when a person do heavy physical activity like running, heart beat increased up to 171 BPM. Now, check the heart interior. The inside of the human heart, is divided into four chambers separated by one-way gateways called, valves. The heart contracts wants to move blood from one chamber to the next and again to send blood out to the body. This motion creates the heartbeat. Let's follow the heartbeat. Let's follow the heartbeat step by step to see how the pumping action works. Now you will see the flow of the blood in the heart. Fill the atria. While the heart is at rest, blood flows into the two upper chambers, called the atria. Oxygen-free blood from the body flows into the right atrium, while oxygen-rich blood from the lungs flows into the left atrium. Contract the atria. Now it's time to make the heart beat. A special cluster of cells on the heart called, a node generates the electrical impulse that regulates the beating process, this so-called natural pacemaker is what causes the atria muscles to contract. Let me click the node to activate the electrical signal. Signal the ventricles. The atria contract, forcing blood through the first set of valves and into the ventricles, now the blood is ready to be pushed out of the heart. The same electrical impulse that, caused the atria to contract, also controls the ventricles. Its signal travels from the atria to a second node on the heart muscle, where it is delayed for, about a tenth of a second. Now let's click this node to release the signal and complete the heartbeat. Blood exits the ventricles. The electrical signals causes the ventricles to contract, 
pushing blood through another set of the valves, and on the lungs and rest of the body. As blood is forced out, it pushes against the valves between the ventricles and the atria, causing the valves to snap shut to prevent blood from flowing backward. This creates the lub, lub, lub sound to the heartbeat. Now let's click valve to hear lub sound. The process repeats. As the ventricles relax, the valves between the ventricles and the rest of the body snap shut. This creates the dub sound, finishing the heartbeat. Blood starts filling the atria, and the entire cycle begins again. Listen for the lub-dub, lub-dub, lub-dub sounds as the valves within the heart snap shut. First we discuss the exterior parts. Number 1. Aorta. Large artery that distributes oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the rest of the body. That is known as aorta. Number 2. Pulmonary artery carries blood lacking oxygen from the heart's right ventricle to the lungs. That is known as pulmonary artery. Number 3. Coronary arteries. Vessels that provide the heart muscle with the oxygen rich blood it needs to keep its tissues healthy. Two main coronary arteries branch off from the aorta, and each of these arteries branches again into yet more arteries that supply oxygenated blood to the different parts of the human heart. We will learn about coronary artery disease in our next video. Number 4. Vena cava superior. This one carries blood lacking oxygen from the head, neck, and arms into the right atrium. Number 5. Vena cava inferior. This one carries blood lacking oxygen from the legs, and other lower parts, of the body into the right atrium. Number 6. Pulmonary vein. This one carries oxygen-rich blood from the lungs into the heart's left atrium. Now you are aware about all six exterior parts of human heart. Now let us see the interior parts. Number one is, left atrium. Hollow chamber that collects oxygen-rich blood from the pulmonary vein before sending it to the left ventricle is called, left atrium. Number two is, left ventricle. Hollow chamber that collects oxygen-rich blood from the left atrium before sending it to the aorta, is called, left ventricle. Number 3. Right atrium. Hollow chamber that collects blood lacking oxygen from the vena cava before sending it to the right ventricle is called right atrium. Number 4. Right ventricle. Hollow chamber that collects blood lacking oxygen from the right atrium before sending it to the pulmonary artery is known as right ventricle. Number 5. The last one is, valves. One-way biological gateways that make sure blood flows in the right direction through the heart's chambers and onto the rest of the body. That is called valves. Friends, so you are now aware about how important human heart is, friends, in our next video, we will learn, how heart attack occurs, how cholesterol builds up, and how flow restricted, and about plaque ruptures. We also understand that what are the treatment options. Till then. Please allow me to leave you. But wait, before I leave you, I request my new viewers, if possible for you, please hit subscribe button, it's all free, and do not forget to hit bell icon and, yes, please like and share this video. Till then, please keep watching, keep loving, respect your father and mother have a great day.